there! I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I am so excited to share this video with you. A lot of people have been asking me, or at least a few people have been asking, how do I keep my skin firm, my facial skin firm, past 60? I am 62 years old, will be 63 in April. I'm really getting up there. But anyway, I realized that that would be a great video to share with you. And a lot of these things you have seen in previous videos, but I've never put them together in one video before to tell you the four steps that I take to really help firm up my facial skin. And some of you will ask in the comments, what do I have done cosmetically? And I do have some things done. So I just wanted to start out this video by being upfront and telling you about them. I get Botox on my forehead and around my eyes, and I've done that for 20 years, a long time of Botox. And I also get fillers. Well, actually I had a cheek filler put in. It was a fat filler maybe six or seven years ago. For those of you who have followed my channel know, you know that I didn't like them at first for the first few years, but I've gotten used to them and everything is pretty good there. What else? Oh, I also had lipo under my chin, and this was probably eight or nine, ten years ago, and I had a little tiny double chin there, and he took that out, but it really didn't have any effect on my jowls at all, just that little lump under my chin. So anyway, there is that, and if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things anti-aging, I hope you'll subscribe, and when you click that bell, that just notifies you of my future videos, and if you could share this video with a friend and or give it a thumbs up, that would be great too. Well, before I get into that, and I will put the counter below, so if you want to zip through the chat, you can do that. But before I get through that, I did want to share with you my favorite drink lately. I'm obsessed with this, and I get it from Costco, and it is the Kirkland's brand Sparkling Mineral Water, I think it's called, and I just have it in a glass with a little lime. I have a ton of these little bottles in my pantry. I always have them there, and I must drink four or five of these a day yummy they are so good and this is a substitution for my diet dr pepper that i used to be addicted to i have not had a diet dp from mcdonald's or from anywhere in probably two years now i'm so happy about that but this is a great drink if you want something that's like soda but a little better for you and the second thing i want to show you is a christmas present i got and here it is and this is a shiatsu massage chair and I absolutely love it. I'll try to find a picture of it for you to see it, but it is about $90, I think. It's on Amazon, and I will say my son got it for me for my Christmas because that's what I ask for because when I sit in here and do videos, I've got two monitors here. I sit here for hours at a time, and I have a great foot massager underneath my desk there, and now I have this great massager, but Colin ordered me the first one, and quite honestly, I didn't like it because it had intense amounts of shiatsu massage and then it would pause for like 10 seconds and then it would do it again and pause. So we sent that one back. Amazon has great returns, as you know. And then we ordered the newer version, the updated version of the same shiatsu chair. There is the back of it, super comfortable. Somewhere is the little remote. Okay, here is the little remote. I'm having a hard time showing it to you because I've got it tangled in the cord. But basically, it has full back, upper back, lower back massage. You can turn on vibrations, low, medium, and high. You can turn on heat, and then you just turn on the unit there, and it goes for 15 minutes at a time. And after a long, hard day at work, this is wonderful to come home to. Okay, enough of that. Now let's get into the four steps that I take to tighten my sagging facial skin. And I will tell you that at 62 years old, my skin is still not as tight as it was in my 40s. There is no way that anybody past 50 or 60 is going to have that taut facial skin that we had in our 30s and 40s. So it is not perfect, but I do think that doing these four things has really made a huge difference in the firmness of my skin. Now, the first thing I use is Retin-A, and for those of you who have followed my channel, you know that for the past three years I've been on YouTube, I have used Tretinoin or Retin-A, Retin-A is the brand name, and I use the 0.05% strength, but how I use it is now I get it in the Curology Prescription Program, in the Curology Prescription Bottle, 
And this one looks very grungy, I'm sorry. This is the one I keep in my makeup room, but I have one in my skincare area and I use it all the time. Actually, once a night I use it. And I use just a pea-sized amount of the Curology prescription preparation, the same size that I used of the Tretinoin here. And the neat thing about the Curology is, not only does it have my 0.05% strength of tretinoin, it also has a couple of other preparations, one of which is tranexemic acid, which gets rid of brown spots and pigmentation. And I really think my skin, since using this, has become much more even and uniform. It's not perfect because no skin is, but it really, really, I think, has helped. Now, to show you the benefits of tretinoin over the years, I just went back to my archives and just pulled one of the pictures, a before and after picture. And this one happens to be after I was using Retin-A for five months and then comparing that with the 10 months use. And one thing I do want to tell you about using the tretinoin that I have since discovered, in fact, I recently found this study. I'll try to link it below if I can find it again. But basically what it said is, it does not matter what prescription strength you use of the tretinoin. You can use the 0.25%, the 0.5%, the 1%, and Curology even has a higher strength of the tretinoin than the 1% for those of you very brave souls. And I say that because I only use the 0.5% strength. Whenever I went up to the 1% strength, I peeled like an alligator. I mean, terrible, terrible peeling. I did not like that at all, so I decided to stay with a 0.05% strength, saying, you know, I think I had a good result with it. But one thing I learned from this study is wonderful, and it says it does not matter what strength of tretinoin you use, because after about a year, all of them produce the same results. It just takes longer to get to your final result if you start, say, at the 0.25% strength. So if you've stopped using tretinoin because you peeled too much at the 0.5 or the 1% strength, you might want to revisit it with a 0.25% strength because really I think you can get just the same results over time and the study does prove that. Okay, let's get into the before and after pictures so that I can show you the kind of results you can expect with tretinoin in terms of facial firming. And here is my five months use of Retin-A and that was back in June of 2017. And as you can tell by the picture, looking at the eye area, it just looks kind of a little baggy and saggy. And then down around the jowl area, not so much the jowls, but the little pouches around the mouth, you can see everything was just a little baggy and saggy in the before picture. In fact, I said at the time, slack skin and bags around mouth. And then five months later at the 10 months use in November of 2017, as you can tell, my skin has really started to firm up. The eye bags don't look nearly so bad, and especially the skin is firmer around the mouth area and around the jaw. I think even the jaw looks a little more tight. And so as you can see, Retin-A or Tretinoin really does have good results in firming up your skin, plus it has great benefits in terms of evening your skin tone. Love Tretinoin, and it's my number one tool, I would say, toward firming my skin. Now, the second tool that I use, and I use this every Monday through Friday morning, and I do my new faces, and I do do two new faces instead of one. I started out with one three or four years ago. Actually, three years ago when I started YouTube, I started out using just the one. And quite honestly, after using it for several months, I initially thought I had a benefit and then over time, you kind of forget that your skin has really gotten firmer and I fell away from using it. And quite a few people in the comments over the years have said to me, you know, I used the new face, but I just didn't think it did very much. And so I gave up on it. And I was exactly the same way. And in fact, the before and after picture I will show you of using the new face was a point at which I had used it for maybe six months, seven months, eight months, gotten a good result, and then wondered if I was getting any results. And I thought, I will quit using that. So I quit using it for two to three months, I believe. And then I can remember the afternoon, I was heading off the overpass to Ulta, and I happened to look in the rearview mirror, and I went, oh my God, what has happened to my jowls? Everything just looked puffy. My under eyes looked puffy. Let me show you the picture because the picture is worth a thousand words. Okay, the first picture on the left, I had been using the new face for maybe six, seven months. And as you can see, my skin does look very firm. 
Well, then this was after quitting for two to three months, this the middle picture there. And as you can see, my eyelids and my under eye area just looks a little baggier and saggier. And in fact, I think the eyelid looks a little hangy in the middle picture there. And especially around the jowl area, as you can tell, compared to the picture on the left, the jowls in that middle picture are just getting flabbier and baggier and saggier and a little linier, I would say. And then in the last picture there, that is when I went back to using the new face that was after about 30 days. And as you can see, contrasting with the middle picture with no new face use, after one month, my jowl area is looking better. I'm not as liney in the area around my mouth. The, the mouth pouches are not as large. And the eye area especially looks better. The under eye area does not look as baggy and saggy. And it even looks like the whole eye area is lifted. And for those of you who are interested in lifting your eyelids, you use the new face. There's one hold where you hold it up here. I think the new face really helps firm that saggy eyelid skin. And actually, I have a video coming up about how I use tretinoin, just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of tretinoin on my eyelids. And I've done that for three years. And I'll show you my results in terms of lifting my eyelids and even getting rid of a hooded eyelid that I had. And for those of you who question, I have never had any eyelid surgery or under eye surgery. These are my real natural eyes. And for those of you who followed my channel, you know that I used to have one very hooded eye. I almost wasn't able to apply eyeshadow that much anymore because it was almost no lid left on one of my eyes. And again, if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things anti-aging, including anti-aging your eyes, I hope you'll subscribe and click that bell to be notified of my future videos. And if you're going to use the new face to firm up your skin, and I really do think it works, then the first thing that is so important is before you get that new face even out of the box, take off your makeup and take good before pictures, a front and a side to side, and then continue to take a picture maybe monthly because that way you will be able to see the progress that you make with a new face because it is very subtle progress, but over time it is very significant progress. And as I mentioned, I use the new face Monday through Friday morning along with my weight routine. And here is a look at my weight room. And you can see in the lower left, there is a look at my two new faces. And look what my husband did for me. I'll show you a close up of my new faces. They used to just be kind of lying on the floor there. But a couple of weeks ago, Alan made me a little platform out of plywood and we spray painted it black. And so it does look a lot better, but I thought that was so sweet that he did that. And the new faces are such an important part of my facial skin firming routine that I like it, that they look a little better in my makeup room. And the third skin firming facial tool I have used is face yoga. And for those of you who have followed my channel, you have seen my great video results after I think it was 30 days of using the face yoga. And I'll show you pictures from that in just a few minutes. And I'm going to link that video below so you can take a look at it because it was really fabulous results. And I started doing the face yoga back in July. So it's been about six months now. And maybe about two months ago, I switched from the face yoga to the facer size program by Carol Maggio. And she is up in her 60s and has had nothing done. And she looks absolutely fabulous. And she has had several books. I have all four of them, but this is the best one in my opinion. And this is The Ultimate Facer Size by Carol Maggio. It's one of her most recent books. And in this book, there is an exact facial routine. And I actually have this propped up down in my exercise room by my new face because I do the new face first and then I do some weights and then I rest for a bit and then I do the facer size program. But this has 11 exercises in it. And if you'd like me to do a video about my progress using this, I would be glad to do that. I just have not gotten around to it. But I really think that over time, the face yoga and or face exercise, I'm not sure exactly which works the best yet at this point, but I really think it goes a huge long way in firming up your facial skin because one part of having sagging facial skin is that our muscles atrophy, just like they do all over our bodies. And basically what facial exercise does is that it tones the underlying muscles. As we get older through disuse and just through sagging skin, that kind of thing, our muscles kind of tend to hang a little bit. And so the face exercise is just like using weight training for your body. It really helps bring those muscles back. If you do want more 
bulbous cheeks, I guess bulbous is the wrong word, but more striking cheeks, I guess, sometimes over time those cheek muscles just kind of give up and the facial exercise has exercises that puff up your cheeks again and that bring in the jawline and that even make your nose look more defined. And I actually have a video about how I slimmed my nose using a great facial exercise. Here it is. <laughs> and I know you're not going to know what that is. And so don't ask me to explain that below in the comments because I can't really explain it. You'll have to see that video, which is linked below about how I slimmed my nose with a certain exercise and the results on the nose especially show very quickly usually in about five days so let me go ahead and show you a before and after of how facial yoga affected my face and here we go these pictures were 30 days apart and the first picture was back in the middle of July and the second picture was in the middle of August around August 15th but as you can tell in the before picture everything in terms of my skin just looks a little bit baggy and saggy Look at the eye area in the before picture. In the under eye area, it just looks like it has no tone. It looks like those muscles aren't plumped up at all. Everything just seems to be lying down in terms of my muscle. And then I think the biggest result was in my cheeks. In the before picture, as you can tell, my cheeks just look like they're lying there and they look kind of flabby and untoned. But just 30 days later, look at the tone that I've gotten in my cheeks. And not only do they look more puffy and well-defined, but also the skin just looks more luminous because one thing about facial exercise is while you're exercising the muscles, you're bringing increased blood flow to the skin and everything just looks radiant and more youthful. And you can see in the chin area too, in the before picture, everything just looks a little baggy and saggy. And then in the after picture, everything just looks a little more toned. The jawline especially looks a little more straight, not so saggy as it was in the before picture. And you know, you always hear people, especially plastic surgeons saying, don't exercise your face muscles because you're going to get wrinkles. Well, I will have to say, if you followed my weight training videos, my body skin didn't get wrinkles when I got muscles. Everything just got kind of more plumped out and streamlined, and that's exactly what happens with your face. And if you do notice that a part of your face is getting a few more lines, something's getting deeper looking, then just back off on that particular exercise. Maybe that one isn't for you. But I really think that in the past six months that I've been doing first the facial yoga and then the face exercise, my face is looking a lot better and everything is definitely tightening up nicely. Well, my fourth and final skin toning tool is the Derma Roller. And I just started using this probably about three or four months ago on a weekly basis. And I think it is really making a wonderful difference in helping to firm up my skin. But I am not one of these people that goes up to the one millimeter or the 1.5 millimeter, heaven forbid. I use the 1.5 on body skin, but I would never use that on my face at all. I use the 0.5 millimeter derma roller. And as you can see there, it's just little tiny metal quills. And they also have a 0.25, but that is known as what is called the cosmetic depth to where if you want your skincare elements to sink in a little more readily, you can do the 0.25 even every day or every other day. It does not hurt your skin. But I use the 0.5 millimeter derma roller one night a week and I do it on Wednesdays. And the last time I did it was three nights ago. And I am not one of these people that believes that you need to draw blood I don't have hardly any pinpoint bleeding. Maybe once in a while I'll have one little dot, but basically I do this in a very gentle way, but I have noticed over the last few months I've been doing it that my skin does seem to be getting firmer and a little bit more radiant. And I have to say that although I investigated derma rolling several years ago on my channel, I fell away from it pretty quickly because I wasn't really sure it was doing anything. But it was during my saggy skin video series that I saw a woman's results using a 0.5 derma roller on her facial skin that I could not believe. Here is what happened. And I will tell you, if you're interested in tightening up your saggy facial skin, one of my most popular video series ever is called Saggy Body Skin Cure or words to that effect. I can't remember. And in that video series, I show you my progress on tightening up my saggy body skin using a 1.5 millimeter derma roller, much longer quills than this. I would never use a 1.5 on my face, but the results I had on improving my saggy and crepey body skin were really phenomenal. And I'll link those videos for you below. 
But in the midst of that series, I ask viewers to go ahead and send me pictures if they were also having good results. And I had one viewer that sent me a fabulous before and after picture that was so good that I almost didn't believe it. And I did not post it during the saggy body skin series because quite honestly, it was so good. I almost didn't believe it. And then I started emailing her back and forth and I realized it was totally for real and her results were amazing. And she used the 0.05 derma roller one night a week and did a few other things. And I'm not going to show you her picture now because I can't wait to unveil but it. I kept kind of studying derma rolling and it wasn't until I visited Elle for Living's channel, she has a wonderful video on her progress using the derma roller and her skin has really firmed up and I'll link her video below. She has a great channel, by the way, Elle for Living is just wonderful. But I realized that she was having the same sort of results as my viewer was, maybe not quite so dramatic, but absolutely fabulous results. And I think she was using a one millimeter derma roller. Not sure about that though. You do need to go and check out her channel, but I only use the 0.05 derma roller and I use it once a week. And if you'd like to see a video about how I do the derma rolling, then please leave me a comment in the comment section below the video. Also, just in general, if you have things that are working for you in terms of tightening up your sagging skin, we would all love to know about it. So please leave a comment about that in the comment section below the video. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And I have just started reading from these Language of Letting Go cards by Melody Beatty. And quite honestly, I read one last night in another video I made and it seemed like it was very, very long. So I don't know if these are work or not, but we'll try. Here it is, focusing on substance, focusing on substance. Today I will focus on the substance in my life. I will fill in the lines of myself with a real person, me. I will concentrate on the substance of my relationships and other areas of my life, not the trappings. Oh friends, I absolutely love this card and it is so germane to what we're experiencing now and certainly in the past year. Today I will focus on the substance in my life. And you know, the COVID was obviously a terrible situation and it is a situation that is still ongoing, but maybe we can see a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel with a vaccine coming. So I am so excited about that. But even bad things tend to bring gifts to us. And one of the gifts that I think the whole COVID situation brought to each one of us is the realization that we have to concentrate more on what is of true value in our life of the things of substance in our life. You know, this society, we are raised to be consumers in this society. From the time we're like one year old, they're marketing to us to tell us, hey, you're not enough, you need this and this and this material thing. And really all of those things, while they're very nice and it's good to have some of those things in our life, those truly aren't the things of real value in our life. When we're lying in our deathbed, we're not gonna say, Beth, you know, I think you needed one more David Yerman ring. No, I don't think I will be saying that. At the end of my life, I will hopefully be surrounded by the people that I love, the people that are true substance in my life. So friends, just through our day, as we go through our day, let's try to really be aware, let's try to be really mindful, and let's try to really note the things that are of true substance in our life and usually that's the friends and family members around us. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.